Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how to draw this really cute uh, top and skirt. So um, I'm going to start with the very basics. You could probably freehand draw this, but I feel it's good to start with the crocky. So if you get used to using it, then the more difficult designs, it becomes easier for you to have symmetrical patterns. Um, so yeah. So this is the image that we're going to try and do. I'm going to head to gallery. <clears throat> In gallery, the first thing we do is create a new canvas. So here to the uh, left hand side of the page, there is a plus sign. You click on it and you choose 2550 by two. any any square is fine. I've chosen 2550 by 2550. So I've created a canvas there. Now what I want is a croquis on it. I already have existing croquis. If you want to download your own, then you head to this website called Preta Template. In here, you click on the options that says printables on the top in the menu. You can choose which croquis you want to download. Let's say you select this, you can select which size and download. Here it'll ask you for your email address and send the download to your email address. You can download it from your email and then head back to procreate and click on import under import there is a download section you will find it here click on that and it will auto appear here so mine is already here <clears throat> what i'm what i've done is i've created two more canvases one with just two profiles and one with a single profile so what i'm going to do is use the single profile in order to select the single profile and paste it on my new canvas i use three fingers and i just push the uh, i mean use it to push the screen down it comes up with a menu so you click on copy and head back to gallery <clears throat> in gallery i click on uh, untitled artwork which is my new canvas and i click on paste so when you paste an image it is auto selected so you can see uh, the selection tool is on the image so what i do is i go to fit to screen and i fit it to the whole image and i can move it around if i want to i'm just going to place it where it was what I can also do is uncheck the selection button if I want to go ahead and start sketching. The next thing I do is create a new layer. It's always great to create layers. I will tell you why and why I created a new layer much later on. But please do create one. And as we go, you'll understand yourselves. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a new option called Drawing Assist. Now this is a great option that will help you especially in fashion if you want to like let's say I want to create the left side of the garment it will auto create the right side of the garment. So as I'm drawing on the left side the line that separates the symmetry will draw the exactly mirror uh, replica on the other side. So I'll show you how to do that you go to the option that is the spanner here under that drawing assist and select edit drawing guide. Here you select symmetry, increase the uh, thickness and the opacity to maximum. You see a big green line that comes. Now I want this green line to be separating the crocky correctly. So I zoom in and I move the line to the middle of the garment. I mean to the middle of the crocky. So I know it's separated equally on left and right. Now you can see the lines, uh, um, the images as you go to the bottom is not separated correctly. That's fine because we're focusing on doing a top only today so that click on done now what i do is i select i go to the selected layer and make sure when you click on it the drawing assist is turned on which it should be if you selected the right layer and used the uh, the drawing guide options so now i'm going to go back to the brushes and under brushes i'm going to click on sketching I'm going to use the 6B pencil. You don't have to double tap it. Click on the image and then you can make your brush size about between 10 to 15. That's fine and full opacity. Now I zoom in and I start. I'm going to select a black color. So you go to the option there and click on black. And here I will start to draw. So I drew, I went, I used the arm. So when you double tap something, whatever you did earlier will get undone. So I just under that and then I'm going to go down. I'm going to make it a shorter crop 
for top so I'm gonna just end it here and I will do the neck so my top is ready let's say I want to see it without so here's where a rear really helps so because you've created a layer you uncheck this and automatically you get only what you've drawn and what you've used as a template disappears and you can always bring it back whenever you want to use it again so for now i'm just going to go ahead and work on the top that i've drawn okay so uh, i'm going to select a new layer so i can color on it i'm going to go to textures and let me select decimals so this will give me like a pole card dot effect so let's say i have increased uh, the size of my brush then it gives me very big polka dots which i don't want right now so i'll keep it to about uh, 15 and i will select a different color let's say i want a bright pink i chose a bright pink it, it, the color should change here only then your color is changed and then i can go ahead and start using the Maybe I thought maybe I'll make it a little bigger. Maybe I can make it 20. Yeah. So okay if you go slightly outside the lines, guys, but do not lift your pencil. Let's say I lift my pencil and I go over it. So it creates, creates a very blotchy effect. So undo, undo, and I will make sure I without lifting my pencil, I go ahead and finish the pattern. Okay. So I've pretty much finish now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and remove whatever's excess so I zoom and so basically I forgot to tell you which brush when you click on the eraser you have brushes that will erase in a certain pattern so what I do is usually I select under airbrushing hard brush because that's an easy brush for me to use while so you don't have to zoom too much either and just select the image and yeah just go around i find like erasing really therapeutic so there are options of filling in without it going outside of the lines but we'll come back to that another time these are this is a fairly more easy tutorial and sometimes these options uh, sort of make things simpler as well because you don't have to learn too much to get this done just with your basics you can create something quite cute yeah so i'm done see so my top's ready so let's say oh you know what that was really easy let's go ahead and do a skirt as well so i go ahead and check back the layer of the crocky and i select the sketching no let's let's fill up so if you see this particular layer of what i drew the outline that is the pixels are not connected exactly there are gaps so you can't fill in with this kind of a brush you can't fill the entire color so if i try to fill the whole canvas gets filled so in order to fill only a particular image you have to use brushes where the pixels are all collect uh, connected uh, and there are no gaps between the pixels. So what I do is I choose calligraphy and I go to monoline. So in monoline, I can just uh, go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead using the pink color itself. And I'm going to connect. Just make sure that all the pixels are connected. And I fill this up. So you have a skirt. So what I can also do is make the top come back and make the crocky disappear. See, there you go, guys. You have a cute little skirt with a cute little top, which is very, very basic and super easy. Now I'm going to go ahead and let's see if you want to change the color. So this is the great thing about using brushes that, uh, that have connected pixels. So you can go ahead and just change the color as you wish. You can go to random colors. So I really liked, um, I really liked the, I think, I like the mustard and the pink, that's nice. So you can just go back. There's another, you can just go back and select a pink. There you go. So 
thank you for watching guys that was a super simple um you know tutorial if you would like for me to make it a little more as we go on it will get a little more uh, you learn more options and you learn to make more um you know uh, fun designs but this is it for today i hope you had a great time watching it and learning and we will be back soon and check all our details in the description below and please subscribe thank you bye bye